just getting to know more about my car. Um, well, I've done a brake job on this thing before on my 4Runner, but I didn't get to show it to you guys. But um, the way that the brake rotors actually work, it's not like uh, it's not like these parts right here, which is basically where the lug nuts is, con is connected to. The rotor does not actually connect, uh, hook up to here actually, just like in pretty much every other car. Uh, in this case, it actually looks more like this. I already did this part already. And um, the rotor, this right here, you can see there's holes right here, but that's not where the lug nut threads actually go. Um, these were actually, those right there is actually what these are actually holding on to. The hub and the rotor is actually in separate pieces, whereas in, the, in most other cars they're not, which is quite interesting for me. And I think the reason why they did this is just like I mentioned before about the whole um, four-wheel drive version of this car. Um, the four-wheel drive version actually uses, the four-wheel drive version actually uses manual locking hubs. So I think that's one of the reasons why they actually made the the hub and the rotor part separate whereas in other cars the rotor and the and the hubs are pretty much together the only thing you can actually take off is the rotor because the rotor is actually hooked up to these holes where normally the lug nut threads will be on in this case it doesn't actually do that which is when i first got this car um it, i didn't know that i was uh, just something that I just found out how it works from watching video tutorials on how to actually change rotors on a 4Runner, second generation 4Runner. Anyways, that's a little quick video. Talk to you guys again soon.